Goal, gym mission cleared. Hey there, viewers. How are we all doing? It's good to see you again. We're here going to the fighting gym leader. That's right. It's time to take out B and get our fourth gym badge. I just realized the bottom of my shoes are Pokeballs and also my shoes are Pokeballs. Everything on my shoes is Pokeballs. All right, B. You're not even wearing shoes. You can even hear like the... They even have a sound effect for her bare feet. <laughs> Welcome, gym challenger. I'm B. Uh, I like how we have like gym floors. Do you have an unshakable spirit that won't be moved no matter how you are attacked? I think I'll test that out, shall I? Sure. I don't think I've seen you before, besides in the, uh... Gosh, when was that? The, when we met all the gym leaders? We haven't really talked to you. Okay, yeah, I can already tell you're a fighter. Nice Ultra Ball you got there. But, uh, it doesn't matter what's inside that Ultra Ball, unless it's like a freaking Arceus. Hit him on top. Yeah, I was gonna say, you are not gonna come out on top, but, uh, I guess you're not gonna come out on Hit on top. Haha, <laughs> funny pun. Alright, Bunko. Listen here, Bunko. Dynamax right now. Okay, so there is, there is, the dome is open. So, like, if it started raining, it just, like, goes in. Okay, come on. One shot. One shot this thing, Bunko. And it's equal attack, equal to, ooh, okay. <gasps> nice, Bunko. That's gonna do nothing. Okay, it does a decent amount because it's re freaking revenge. Okay, she critted, that's why. Um, does crit ignore burn? I think it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but now that it is burned, have that attack, that's great. All right, Bunko, keep going. <gasps> and now you critted her back. Oh my gosh. And she's countering? Stop! Bunko! Ugh. What the heck? She literally had revenge and counter. Both of those. Okay, that's fine. My burn takes you out. You want to take out Bunko? Fine. Bunko will take you down with him. That's right. Good job, Bunko. Hyper voice? Um... Okay. All right, I don't know what she's sending out next, but it's going to be a fighting type. So, Professor, come on out. You're going to be the, uh, Pango. Wow. Wow. It's like I'm purposely choosing the wrong Pokemon, it, it feels like. Come on. You have a Pangoro? Mold Breaker? Whatever. I don't care if you break mold. That's fine to me. Gosh, freaking Hatena can't... Ooh, Disarming Voice could be good. No, he can. He probably has knockoff. Jamling though. Um, I'm gonna go brilliant for right now. Brilliant, you can be fodder, I think. And well, you might be able to take out the Pangoro. We never know. We can try. We can try. All right. What's he going for? Work up. What does that do? Is that just attack? Is it, or is it attack defense or what? It is attack. Special to special attack. What the why? Why special attack? All right, I'm going for. I'll just go leave tornado. That'll do the most damage. I want to get this Pangoro out of here because no more dark types. No more dark types. He's probably gonna have like freaking fire punch or something. Night slash. Okay, that's gonna do a ton if he crits. Okay, it's a two hit KO. Well, I'm making him slower so that way Hatena can outspeed him. That's good. So here's the question. Actually, will lefties make me not in kill percent? No, it won't. I'm still dead. Um, so go for Night Slash again, Pangoro. And I want to know, when Brilliant dies, does it still cotton down before it dies? He's going for Workup again. Okay, this is actually bad. Oh, boy. We have to rely on Hatena actually being able to kill. Well, if I send Hatena out. I do want to send Hatena out because freaking Soft is so underleveled. She is so underleveled. Um, but whatever, it's fine. She'll get up there eventually. She'll be really good in the late game, I imagine. <laughs> a lot of those weak mons are really, really good in the late game. Like, I remember I was playing White 2, and I actually stopped playing. Pokemon White 2 was the only game that I just stopped playing out of sheer boredom because I just got bored, and it was, like, right before the plot, too. But <laughs> I stopped playing it, and it was mostly because all of my Pokemon were, like, those Pokemon that don't reach their potential until after you evolve them. Like, I had a Joltik. I had a Clink. Like, both of those two suck. They are garbage at taking things out. They take forever to kill anything when they're when they're just baby Pokemon. But when they're Galvantula and Clinklang, oh my gosh, they wreck shop. Oh wait, I freaking sent out Jamwing? Oh, frick. Okay, well, whatever. Jamwing, go ahead. I want to have to do it, but I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy thinking about my white two mods. <laughs> All right, well, Pangoro's gone. That's two of her Pokemon. Jamwing could actually, uh... Jamwing? Sir fetched. Surfetched is just fighting, I think. No, I don't. I don't want to send. I don't want to send out Hatena right now. Not right. Maybe I should. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you have a freaking Surfetched. 
Can you please Dynamax your Surfetched? I think the gym leaders will always Dynamax the same time as I will. One shot. Okay, I didn't think so. So what? You gonna use like, some special leak move? Revenge! Why does she have like all these stupid revenge-based moves? Jeez. Not very effective, but my goodness. Revenge, counter, like come on. Those are pretty risky moves I've never really seen a gym leader use. I guess revenge maybe, but not counter. Not a single time have I ever seen a gym leader use counter. At least not that I can remember. Okay, soft. I really want you to come in here. Machamp? You're gonna lose to Machamp. You will. I'm sorry, you will. <sighs> but I gotta, I gotta send out soft. Soft, get out here. Get out here right now, soft. I'm gonna Dynamax you against this Dynamax Machamp. Oh, soft. <laughs> it's time to dig into our heels. I'm not giving up, so neither should you. Yeah, I'm not giving up, but uh, <laughs> your freaking Machamp's probably gonna destroy poor Soft. Uh, anticipation. Yeah, I'm shuddering too with anticipation, but it's time. It's time. Max Starfall. Ah, that's a fairy-based move. Okay. Psychic Terrain for five turns. The Psychic Terrain, I think that deletes priority moves, so no bullet punches or anything crazy. All right, fine then, let's destroy everything. Your skill is worthy of my spec and Gigantamaxing. What's the difference between Dynamax and Gigantamax? Is Gigantamaxing the action of Dynamaxing? As in, they are getting bigger? Also, Machamp is... Machamp is what? Excuse me? Holy moly! It got... it got pants! Machamp got pants! And also creepy eyes, but pants! Oh my gosh! I was not expecting that! That's right. Big Hatena. Big soft. <laughs> Alright, this is uh, not gonna be good. I can already tell. He's probably just gonna knock off and one-shot me. Look at his freaking... Max Dark... Yep, Max Darkness. One-shot. Show me the one shot. Yep. As I thought. I knew he was gonna have freaking knockoff. That's why I didn't want to send out Soft. Uh, I'm sorry, Soft. That was a useless Gigantamax or whatever. Jeez, now he's Gigantamax though. This is actually like our first. Jeez, this is actually like our first time we're having a really rough time. I think it's only just because how things have been turning out for us. Like the whole burn thing and the crits at the beginning. Um, and me not sending in Hatena earlier. Alright, that's it. Snipe shot right now. Gosh, normal Pokemon versus freaking giant Machamp. <laughs> Come on, Slippers, hang in there. G-Max Cheese Strike. I'll use Karate along with my Pokemon's move. Are you going to use Karate on the air? G-Max Cheese Strike. Oh my gosh, this brings a fist down from the sky. Slippers! Whew. What the? Getting pumped? Does that raise your crit rate? Stop cheering, everybody. What are those little Rotums in the back? Okay, that's it. Slippers, go for the Snipe Shot. That's just, this is your last turn as a Gigantamax Pokemon. So go ahead. Use the G-Max Chi Strike. Is that just all fighting types move? I think it must be. How are you getting double pumped, though? Doesn't really make any sense. Unless getting pumped raises all stats. That'd be insane. All right. Um, perfect. Four Pokemon have died. Oh, my goodness. I'm so glad I'm not doing a Nuzlocke for my first experience. That would have ruined the experience, I think. I do want to do a Nuzlocke eventually. Maybe I'll get, like, Shield and do a Nuzlocke there. Who knows? I'll, I'll, I'll see what I'll do after playing Pokemon Story. Right now, I just, just want to beat the game. All right, that's it. You, can, you ripped off your stupid leggings for your pants. That's it. Go back to being a pants-wearing jerk, Machamp. Actually, you're, I, I kind of like Machamp's Dynamax design. That was actually really cool looking. But it doesn't. it matters not for Professor has prevailed along with Jamwing. Yes, there we go. Finally, learn a new move. I'm sick and tired of having light screens reflect the whole time. Can you also learn Bug Buzz while you're at it? Psychic Bug Buzz, um, Quiver Dance, uh, and Hurricane. Those will be like the three greatest moves you could learn, Professor. All right, here we go. B, we gotcha with Professor. <laughs> she tightened the little thing on her. Uh, I felt the fighting spirit of your Pokemon as you led them in battle. Yeah, um... Fighting Spirit, I sure had that. Definitely didn't just di Gigantamax, Dynamax, whatever you want to call it. Just didn't di Dynamax soft and it just instantly died. Thank you for the battle. Uh-huh. Phew. Facing you gave me all the explanation I needed. Battling against you and your team. I hadn't expected it, but it made my heart dance. It's good to be unshakable in the face of battle, but it's good to be moved by battle as well. Thank you again. Take the fighting badge. Thanks. 
Why are all the gym leaders taller than me? What, why you have to hold your elbow? Did you hurt your arm in that battle by hitting the air too much? There we go. More of the puzzle is complete. Only four remain. We are halfway through now. Can I please catch Pokemon higher than... Is it going to stop at 60? I guess maybe Pokemon aren't going to be past 60 in any other place. Maybe? I don't know. I hope you'll meet many more trainers and have many more matches in the future. Yeah, I hope I will too. And I hope you nurse every one of those encounters. Will or I hope every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it will be. Pretty sure it will. Challenger Seeker, congratulations on defeating Leader B. Please take this TM to remember your victory by... Revenge. Freaking revenge. Give me, like, mock punch. <laughs> Give me a good thing. Uh, yep. That's, it was her revenge moves, actually. Her counter and revenge were actually coming in clutch. Okay, uh, fighting uniform, that's cool. I'm never gonna wear these stupid uniforms. They're just... Yeah, no, that, that does not suit me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Bow Wark. Oh, is that Sonia's Yamp? Hey there, Yamp. How you doing? I have an evolution of Yamp. Did you know? Uh, sounds like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here on Stone Side? It's said to st tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though, what's here today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. Uh, I saw the Diglets. Is that what you're talking about? The hero of Galar has three Diglets? Uh, you tend to ha have a surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering what you might think when you see the ruins. Kaboom. Uh-oh. What What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Uh, can I please kill my Pokemon? Let's go have a look. Come on, Yamp. <laughs> I'm just going to have her call it Yamp. <laughs> look at it go. Alright, my Pokemon are healed, so let's just head on over to the ruins. Cap, cap, whatever. So what... Who is going to be blowing up the freaking ruins? Sonya? Any ideas? What's going on up there? Uh, where did Yamp go? Where's Yamp? He was following you. Where'd he go? Uh, what's... A gym challenger? Uh, I guess you've seen me on TV or something. What the... B? What are you doing? Mmm, destroy it, destroy it all! Oh, we're going to find those wishing stars! Rarge. Mmm, yeah, we gotta bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him! <laughs> Copperaja! Copperaja? Is that what it's called? If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him and find wishing stars! Mmm! What the frick? Why are you destroying the ruins, though, you jerk? Mm. Mm. Oh, oh my. You again. Mm. So you think that you can start collecting wishing stars and get the chairman's favor? Mm. And so that's the way of things, is it? Mm -hmm. I see. I do have, see have some cunning in you, but I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Mm. Okay. B? Uh-huh. Why are you destroying the ruins, though? Duosion, you evolved your solo. All right. Why are you getting? Why are you destroying the ruins, though? You jerk. That's it. That's it. One shot this thing. Duosion, more like Bade's dead. Mm, that's right. That's that adamant nature right there. Good job, Bunko. You are doing it. Mm. Mm. I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. Yeah, okay, whatever, Bead. We fought you two times before, and if you're gonna destroy the ruins, then I'll fight you again. And I'm just gonna stay out here. Because freaking Bunko is gonna just wreck shop on your team right now. I should have Hatena versus Hatena, but honestly, his is probably stronger. It's probably like level 34. Probably about to evolve. We might even see Hatena's evolution. That did one shot, but I'm adamant. Rock Tomb. Oh, that's gonna one shot. Four times effective. That's right. Why do you have Rock Tomb? You're a special attacker. My speed fell. That's actually not really good. Don't do it again. Super Potion. Okay. I still don't know if you got speed, though. That's just the Super Potion. Actually. Oh, I kill! <laughs> He's still in death range. That's right. Got Gotha... 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 I always forget the pronunciations of all the... Gotha... 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 Goth Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, Bunko. Just go bite off his hair now. Ponyta. He still has the... He still has the Ponyta. He's probably gonna have a Rapidash here soon. Mmm, yes, do you like my horse? Mm, sometimes I ride it when I'm bored. Uh, Bead, I don't think it's very good for you to- mm, Get fast! <laughs> Your speed's already lowered, but you know what? I think I should just outspeed even more, that's right. <laughs> just get more speed, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you like my cuffs on my legs? <laughs> I think they're pretty rad. Do people still say that? I'm hip with the kids. Not that I need to be, because all I care about is wishing stars. Mm! 
Mm. Hatram. Here we go. Hatena's evolution. Mm, I have to win this for the chairman. Do you really think I'd let you keep me from doing everything I want? Mm, Hatram. Oh, it's cute. It actually does have a hat now. Anticipation. Aww. That's so cute. It's like a little witch thing. Mm, my partner's move is simply splendid, wouldn't you say? Mm, let's just snap. Get to it, Hatram. Mm, mm, a side beam. Mm. Oh, no, what? You're bug biting? No, I'm gonna tank that. Mm. Um, um, mm. <laughs> Alright, well, his outspeeds. So, I'm gonna die. I'd kind of, I'd rather keep Bunko alive if I could. So Jamwing, you'll probably outspeed, cause you're well, you have a terrible, you have a lowered speed nature. That's actually really annoying having a lower speed nature. My Hatena has a high speed nature, which is good. So maybe in the future I'll have a Hatrim versus Hatrim battle. And even if you wanted to kill, you can't. So that's right. Get into the ground right now, and I outspeed. Excellent. Goodbye, Hatrim. You're adorable, but mine is better. See you later. Mm -mm. I can't believe you took out all my Pokemon mm, again. How am I supposed to get the train of witching? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This has to be some kind of mistake. I demand a do-over. Mm -hmm. I can't take it anymore. All I do is lose, but why? Mm -hmm. How can this be? Mm -hmm. How could someone like you get in my way? Mm -hmm. I was chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was to beat the champion. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the elite. Someone who can shoulder the future of the Galar region. Mm! Challenger bead. Oh no. He's in his actual attire. I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow the Chairman Chairman Rose's Kaparaja. I can't believe you try and use the Chairman's Pokemon to destroy a historical site. Mm, who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Do you stand in the path of a Pokemon Simple Beam or something? How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? Mm. Hmm. Young Bead, jump off that cliff right now, you idiot. You absolute moron. You stupid... Oh, it pays me to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. <sighs> I saw talent in you. You reminded me of myself back a little bit, but back when I was young. That's why I sent you to do a trainer school, to give you a chance of success. <sighs> but trying to destroy a mural? Part of Galar's history! You show no love toward Galar! You are clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. <gasps> Look at his face! Oh, <laughs> You must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge? But you're the one who would- me. Mm. There are hundreds of different ways we can sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenger Bead, I will be taking those wishing stars you have gathered. No! Mm. Oh, poor Bead. Uh, 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 oh, Sonia and Seeker too. Terrible shame all this, an absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. Ugh. <sighs> What do you say about the thousand years, though? You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer that say that Bede has no family. Apparently, it was Rose who took Bede under his wing, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. But he kind of went wrong there. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. Uh, I guess somewhat. There's a crack at the bottom. There's like a crack at the... Uh-oh. <gasps> it's... Wait. Bede was onto something. It was only thanks to Bead that we found- That's Zashin and Zamazenta! The two heroes! Is it all coming together now? Sonia, look at her thing. She's like, hmm. Zashin and Zamazenta. They're the two heroes. From the darkest day. Yeah, you got it now? <laughs> Does that mean- Please tell us we don't have to disqualify Bead anymore, though. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought to light- uh, Brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's legends? Uh, a sword and shield- Pokemon. They're Pokemon, right. More than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. There are two people in the back, though. Maybe those are the heroes, and they used Sashin and Zamazenta. Uh, not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield, as if they were using them. Yeah. Well, the shield's kind of in one's body, isn't it? Anything else look interesting to you? Yeah, the people in the back. There's actually two people? Oh, good observation. 
there really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only the one statue at the Badoo drop in? That's right, why is there only one statue there? Maybe the other one was taken somewhere? More than the statue of the hero old or old tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... The sword is a, <laughs> the sword is a Pokemon! Yep! I was thinking the same thing! Uh, well, not the sword itself, but... Seems like it, uh, seems like at like some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with two, uh, with the actual two, the two actual Pokemon, and treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? That's a good question. Two young heroes, the sword and shield, were actually Pokemon. But why would the truth of these ruins be held when their stories were depicted in artwork? That's a good question. They only showed the humans. With your help, I feel like we've made a big discovery here. Thanks. I'll give you a couple of these. They're revives, aren't they? And also, it was thanks to Bede. Do not disqualify him. He is cool. <laughs> so keep giving it your best in the gym challenge too, okay? Guess he'll be headed to Balan Balanlea next, right? Uh, I guess. Yeah, thanks for the two revives that I'll never use. Jeez, give me full restores or something. Come on. Poor Bede, though. I feel so bad for him. He was just trying to help, even though he was being kind of stupid and arrogant. Oh, poor bead. Uh, I guess this is where I'm supposed to go? I'm not 100% sure, I'm kind of just going up here. The town map made it look like I had to go through here. Glimwood Tangle? Yep, this is definitely the place. I gotta go through this Glimwood Tangle to get to Balanlea. Wait a sec. This was where the Galarian Ponytail was. Like I said, I never watched the live stream, but I watched like... I saw like memes of it and I saw like a few snippets here and there. But yeah, it was definitely here. I'd rather not fight you, but whatever, we'll fight. Fight me. Fight me. Fine, I'll fight for you. <laughs> Are you looking for mushrooms? They give off a light when you touch them. Is that so? All right. Okay, challenged by Cook's Derek. I've met a Derek in my life. That's right. Milsery. Uh, I've, I've actually found a mil... Uh, huh. That Milsery looks different, though. I wonder if it has different form... Wait, what the heck? What type is Milsery? I thought it was Psychic, or Grass. Um, oh no, it's Fairy-type, that's right. It's fair. it's Fairy-type, okay. Ah, oh, freaking Attract, I wasn't even paying attention. Ugh, I hate Attract. Slippers, get out here. Get out here right now, Slippers, I want you to one-shot this thing. I hate Attract so much. Don't use Double Attract, if you are, you're the wisest person in the world. There we go, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. I'm surprised Slippers isn't a Dark-type, like a Water Dark. Considering it's, um, uh, what am I trying to say? It's, uh, like a spy. I feel like that'd be like a dark type, but it's just water. Snipe shot. There we go. Now we get to actually see the animation of snipe shot because last time we used it on a Dynamax Machamp. So we couldn't really, like, actually see what it looked like. But I kind of like that. It just points and then just shoots instantly. Okay, Shinotic, I know you. You are a grass fairy? Uh, I'll go Jamwing just in case. Come on, Jamwing, get out here. Can you please one-shot Shinotic? I like it when I can uh, start one-shotting Pokemon. Also, when did you evolve? I, I'm like a thousand percent sure you are Corviknight, so come on, please. Please evolve. Look at his dumb face. He's like, hmm, yeah, that's right. I'm going to cook this Pokemon later. Yeah, now I can cook it because it's dead. Thanks for killing my Pokemon. Does Shinotic's face look a little different back from in Alola? I feel like it does. <laughs> it looks a little bit creepier. How many Pokemon do you have? Jeez. Wait. Sinistia? Sinistia? That's so cute. Wait, we already saw the- we saw your evolution, didn't we? And a teacup. Yeah, you're probably a steel type. Or a fairy? No, you're a ghost. You're just a ghost type, and I just somehow one-shot you. Okay. That's so cute. Oh, I want the teacup Pokemon. There's so many Pokemon I want to use. I hate that I only have to use six. Hmm, hey, a strong trainer that's rarer than rare mushrooms, is it? I mean, mushrooms can be rare. But whatever you say there, Mr. Man, I can hardly even see the grass. Jeez, it's so dark in this place. Where are the ponytas? All right, I did that all for a Pokeball. Awesome. But where do I go? Where do I go? Oh, I have to go down and around, I see. Took me a second to figure out where I need to go. There's like no Pokemon that's roaming. And what's with this creepy music? Big Root, all right. Wait, what the? Now oh, is she Nodic? Yeah, go ahead and blah, 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 all you want, but I'm not gonna, not gonna do anything to you. 
after I... You're level 35? Holy moly. Maybe I do need to do some more training? <laughs> I guess. Level 35. Strength sap. Does that lower my attack by like two stages or something? Uh, attack. That's it? That's it. What? Excuse me? What just happened there? Why did it heal all the way back up to full? Did Strength Sap do that? What the heck? How? Uh. It eats my strength and then heals up to full HP? That's broken! That is broken! As Moonlight too. Oh my gosh. It just has all healing base moves. Okay, Drill Pack, can you one shot? I have a sharp beak. My beak is sharper than any other birds on the entire planet. There we go. Thank you, Jamling. Appreciate it, you one-shotting this thing. Because if it kept going for that Strength Sap, it would just get all its HP back and constantly lower my attack. All right. Slam. Eh, no. Slam has like 70 accuracy or something. It's like really bad. There we go. There we go, Jamwing. I was wondering. I was just saying when you were going to evolve, but here we go. It is Corviknight. That's right, because it's Corvus Squire, Corviknight. There we go. Corviknight. Am I dark type now? Is it just flying? It's definitely a dark type, right? Come on, you are a dark type. Steel, okay, flying steel. I, I know, give it a double type, there we go. Um, black luster of its steel body could drive terror into the heart of any foe. Yeah, when I see these things in the wild area, they are scary. They are scary. They are seven feet tall too, they are huge. Steel wing, okay. Jam wing evolved. I think, is our entire party besides Hatena? I think our entire party right now, besides Atena, is fully evolved. Well, Brilliant might be a mid-evolution. I don't know about Brilliance. But I know Corviknight is a final because that's his third stage. All right, actually, I want to... Um, here, I have I have no Corviknight jamming out here for this. The railways are amazing. They can carry lots of people and Pokemon at once. Hmm, I came to ride the Galar train. I wonder if meeting you will change my life. Uh, huh. I also walk up to random people and say, I wonder if meeting you will change my life. <laughs> Robert and Jacqueline. Nine tails, And what else you got? Curlia. Okay, I could have just looked at it and not just... Okay, this is easy. This is easy money. Oh, shoot. Now that I'm a steel type, nine tails. <laughs> nine t Pressure? Of course. You're gonna waste all my PP. Actually, nine tails is the problem here. If we can just get nine tails out of here, we're fine. So I'm gonna go for bite on non tails. Jamming, stop thinking about camping right now. You need to drill pack and destroy nine tails, hopefully. And of course it moves first. And it's going for... <gasps> It went on Bunko? <laughs> you stupid. Oh, it hits both. Don't burn me. There we go. No burn. I'd like to see that. And you're faster than me. Can you finish this off, Bunko? Come on. Yeah. Bunko. 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 The true Bunko. Soft. You want to evolve too? Liquidation. Again? I already said no. Jeez. Stop trying to learn liquidation. Uh, soft. Dazzling Gleam. Okay. That's good. We will replace Aromatherapy. Because I think Life Dew can actually be decent. Uh, I think it only restores like 25% though. When I used it, it only restored like 25% sometime. Psybeam onto Bunko. That does nothing. Bunko can one-shot you. You are a fairy type. Actually, no, we can't. Um, What's with the freaking tip-tap, tip-tap, tip-tap? <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Curlia, you're dead. You are already dead, Curlia. You have low defense. I didn't even need to use my upgraded, my my flash or my fire boosted flame wheels on you. Uh, professor's also leveling up. Good job, Professor. Good job. A way to forget the trouble of this loss would be to ride the train. Oh, too strong. Guess I can look for someone to actually beat. Uh huh. Okay, thanks for all the money. I did put an amulet coin on Bunko, so I'm actually getting a lot more um, monies than I should usually be getting. But I'm very glad for that because I will take all the monies I can get. Also, this... Is that it? That's the end of the forest? But how do I go... Oh, I... Can I go down over here? I see. Okay. I, there's like a whole bunch of Pokeballs that I'm seeing. I want to find that TM from earlier. I don't know where the Tim is, though. Oh, boy. Okay, I don't want to... Ah, there's the Tim. I have to hop on down. Snore. Can I please stop getting useless Tims? They're all useless. Snore? Who would use that? Make a TR of Snore. Not TMs. Snore's like one of the worst moves in the game. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna probably just go through here off screen, see what happens, and we'll, um, 
go to the end of the forest. I, I feel something fishy at the end of this forest. I feel like something's going to happen. So I guess thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.